Good morning children. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you have done previous videos assignments about transportation. If it is not done, you can start doing it today. Hi. Good morning children. Let us start today's session with a story. Necessity is the mother of invention. It was a rainy day. On an island there lived many animals. The animals were all drenched. Their homes were washed away. They did not know what to do. The water level started rising. Seeing this, other animals were wondering what to do. They wanted to go to a safer place. There was an old bear among them. It suggested that all of them would go to a mainland near the island. Monkeys helped some animals to cross the rushing water with the help of the creepers hanging from the trees. Some animals were washed away in the flooded water. A huge tree fell and magically bridged the gap between the island and the mainland. All the animals went past to the mainland. It was a new place for the animals. They were not happy in the mainland. Even though the other animals on the mainland helped these animals. Some days passed. Seasons changed. The animals wanted to go back to the island. They thought that the fallen tree would be there and they can cross the water body. Reaching the shore, the animals were shocked to see all the trees washed away from the shore and also the fallen tree. That moment, they decided to build a connectivity across shores. They shared their work. Elephants brought logs. Monkeys added stones and creepers. Tiny animals brought twigs and dry leaves. Every animal contributed to build the pathway back home. After human intervention, stronger bridges were built. Reaching home, all stayed happily thereafter. Hope you enjoyed the story. Nature is our first teacher. We get inspired from nature. We get inspired from animals and birds. Getting inspiration from birds, human created aeroplane. Inspired from cheetah, people started making fast moving cars. First bridge was believed to be made by nature itself as a log fallen across a stream. Getting inspired by this, people started creating bridge using bamboo and rope. Do you know which would be simpler to walk over the bamboo bridge? Is it with barefoot or with slippers on? If we walk with barefoot on bamboo bridge, we will get a better grip. But if we use slippers, we may slip and fall off. Next stronger material they used for building the bridge was stones. Later people constructed 
concrete bridge. Do you know the materials used to build a concrete bridge? Yes, it is cement, bricks, sand, iron rods and even jelly stones and water are also used. Now, can we compare between bamboo bridge and cement bridge? Let us go one by one. Bamboo bridge is uh, made up of rope and bamboo. Whereas cement bridge is made up of cement, brick, sand, iron road, jelly stones and water. Only one person can travel at a time in bamboo bridge. Whereas in cement bridge or concrete bridge, human, vehicles and even animals can travel. Let us do an activity. Identify the bridge. This is India's first sea bridge. You are right, the Pamban Bridge. It connects India mainland to Rameshwaram Island. It is a lifting bridge. Now, which is the busiest bridge in India? This is Howrah Bridge in Kolkata over Hooghly River. Which is the longest bridge in India? Bhupan Hazarika Bridge in Assam is the longest bridge in India. Which is the tallest bridge in India? Yes, you are right. Chana Bridge in Jammu Kashmir. What would happen if the bridges in the world suddenly disappear? Yes, it would be difficult for us to go to school or office. We may have to use boats for transportation and it would consume our time. Children, which are the bridges that you have travelled in? Make a list of these bridges or even you can draw the pictures of these bridges. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.